In this section, I'm going to go ahead and add in the um, times for the scenario, uh, along with some of the time parameters. And I'm also going to add in some simple controls uh, that describe to the software how the pump operates and under what scenarios it operates. So first of all I'm going to go to options and then times. I'm going to uh, click the edit on these. Um, remembering that we've got an 18 hour day I'm going to ask for a uh, 54 hour scenario uh, equating to three days in our in terms of an 18 hour uh, model. My hydraulic time step you can see it has here as one that would be that would be a, a hydraulic time step right now of every one hour that's much too large for uh, my modeling purposes so I'm going to reduce that down to uh, about about a minute 0 0.167 quality time step, I'm going to keep that as a default, we're not doing any quality modeling here. Um, pattern time step, I'm going to leave as one, if you recall when we did our pattern, this is where you set that uh, pattern time step, i.e. Um, between um, the first pattern step and the second doesn't necessarily have to be one hour, I could make this into 0.5 hours and it would uh, show in my patterns. Let me just show you that real quick. Uh, now it's gone to point 0.4 so I'd, I'd actually only have an eight, a 9 hour pattern there instead of the 18 I had before. I'm going to cancel that and go back and re-change re that because I do actually want it to be uh, a time step of an hour to keep what I had before. Pattern start time, I'm going to have that as uh, zero, 0, uh equating to midnight. Uh, the reporting step, I'm going to put it the same as my um, hydraulic time step, approximately a minute. Reporting start time, I'm going to put in as uh, 12 a.m. Oh, we'll leave that as zero. I believe that is 12 a.m. clock start time. We're going to leave as uh, 12 a.m. Uh, statistic. I'm going to leave that as default value. And this is just set up a, a scenario which will run a time scenario for three days that will report back about every minute uh, in its hydraulic time step and reporting. And it will start at 12 a.m. on the first day and run through for the full. Um, uh, 54 hour period. In addition to that, I'm going to go ahead and put in a controls. I only use simple controls. Uh, you can also use rule base which are more complex and you can read about those in the EPA net manual. Um, first of all, let me just change the names of the pump and the tank of interest. These are the two th two components uh, that I are of interest. I want this pump to come on whenever this tank is about half full, and I want it to switch off when it's near to the top of its uh, overflow. And remembering again, this tank is uh, we've got it as a 12 foot diameter by 12 foot tall tank. I'm going to want this pump to switch off about 11.5 feet. When that's when the water levels at 11.5. So I'm going to rename this tank to make it more intuitive when I read my simple controls. I'm going to call it the high tank. And I'm going to rename this pump as B1 for booster one. I'm going to go back over here to my controls. Again, simple controls and following the um, format they use in the EPA net users manual. I'm going to capitalize for certain words so it's easy to read and it stands out. So link B1 corresponding to our pump. Open if node high tank below C 
six. That's a, a water level of six feet in the tank. And link the on closed if node high tank above eleven point five. And this segment here 